that's free money for you to use to build your business, to buy inventory, to get great returns. You have to change the way you think. Amazon business owners and very soon to be Amazon business owners. Bob Schneck with you today. Super excited to be here to talk about Amazon, the ultimate business opportunity. Now, for those of you that I know, hey, thanks for checking back in. For those of you that I haven't had a chance to meet, uh, hopefully we'll get that chance very soon. But let me tell you a little bit about my background. I have been actively selling online for over two decades. Over the last couple of years, I've had the incredible opportunity to join forces with a group of Amazon selling professionals and business growth experts called Algo Online Retail. And what we do is at Algo is we teach you how not just to sell products online, because the truth is anybody can do that, but we teach you what does it take to build a successful Amazon business? How do you start, source, sell, scale that business faster? And that's what we do. We have a very simple business model, and our business model is buy low, sell high, and sell brand names. Sell the things that people are already going to Amazon to buy. Now, I've got other videos that will teach you all about our business model and how it works. What I wanna focus on today, however, is money, okay? The number one thing that I hear from individuals about their Amazon business and why they can't scale it faster is they don't have access to money. And the big problem is, is most people just don't like to talk about money but I love to because it's what makes the world go round. So what we're really talking about at this point is leverage, using leverage to grow your business, all right? So leverage or capital, how much of it should you have? And the answer to that question is as much as you possibly can. See, we're introduced to opportunities all the time in life, but most people can't take advantage of those opportunities because they don't have access to the funds to be able to do that. Okay, with our Amazon business, you're going to see amazing opportunities for, for buying products that you can put on Amazon, but the stumbling block that people run into is having access to the funds. Now, I didn't say the monies have to be yours. It takes money to make money. It just doesn't necessarily have to be your money. So what I want to do is I want to talk about a couple of ideas for raising capital, and I actually have an entire video that's dedicated to this one subject of raising capital for your business. Uh, but there's one within here that I want to talk about specifically today. But let me just run through them real quickly. Number one, family and friends is a great way to raise capital for your Amazon business. I've built many a business using family and friends money. Number two, your savings account. Now, here's why I say this. This is a scary thing for a lot of people because they work hard for their money and they put their money in their savings account and they want to hang on to it. But let me clue you in. What kind of return are you getting on your savings account? half a percent, one percent if you're lucky. Inflation is three, four percent. So every day you let that money sit in that savings account, the reality is you're losing value. Warren Buffett, one of my mentors said, the worst place to keep your money is in the bank, right? So here's what, what I kind of want you to start to think about. I would say that your new bank account should be your inventory, okay? So if you can learn how to buy name brand products that people are buying every day, and let's say you turn that inventory on a 30-day basis, and let's say you only get a 1% return, which is crazy because we shoot for a minimum of 10, but let's say you get a 1% return on your inventory. You turn it every 30 days, okay? So that's 12 months at 1%. That's a 12% return on your money. Why would you leave your money in the bank? I want you to switch the way you think. Start thinking like a business owner and realize that your inventory should really be your new bank. Uh, lines of credit. You can go to your bank, signature loans, right? You can get secured loans by getting lines of credit, equity in your home. Here's another great resource for monies that you can use to get greater returns on, all right, than you're getting in your home, equity in your home. We've all been taught that the greatest purchase, the greatest investment we'll ever make in our life is our home. I disagree. The home is where you live. It's not an investment, but that's what people are taught because they don't know any better. 
See, if you, the app, let me just give you some numbers here. National average. Now, I'm not talking real estate investing because I do that. That's a whole other world. I'm just talking about the average person that buys a home and sits on it for 30 years and pays that mortgage every single month. Okay, so let's talk about that. National average over the last 30 years, home appreciation nationwide is about 3%. Okay, well, national average uh, inflation rate over the last 30 years, average is about 4%. So the reality of it is, you're putting your money in your home and you're losing value on it, okay? People just don't see it that way. So using equity in your home to create leverage to buy your inventory is a great resource. Uh, retirement accounts, the same exact concept. What kind of return are you getting on your retirement accounts? And could you put it into inventory and get a greater rate of return? The last one that I wanna talk about are credit cards. Now, credit cards are the fastest way to generate uh, capital for inventory purchasing. But we've been taught that credit cards are bad, all right? Um, but they're not. See, they're leverage. And in business, what I want you to realize is that debt is leverage. I mean, look at all the buildings in the downtown where you live. Were any of them bought with all cash? No, they were all bought with leverage, with debt. Okay, so you have to change the way you think to start to think like the 1% of the wealthy of our society. There is a difference between good debt and bad debt. All right, when I ask people what is bad debt, the first thought that pops into their mind is credit cards because you've been taught that credit cards are bad. And I'm here to tell you, credit cards are neither bad nor good. They're a tool for investing. What you buy with them is good or bad. Okay, so I want you to start to change the way you think. Bad debt is anything that you buy that loses value. Good debt is anything you buy that appreciates or gives you a greater return. So I want to educate you a little bit on credit cards themselves because they are the fastest way to generate leverage. So you might want to write these things down. What you want in your credit cards. Number one, you want a credit card that gives you reward points. You want a credit card that gives you cash back. You want a credit card that may give you sign-up bonuses or status bonuses. For example, American Express with Delta Airlines, right? Uh, uh, American Express with Hilton Hotels. You get status when you use these, and these all have value. Now, I want you to understand when you get credit cards, how many credit cards should you have? as many as you want. If you want a perfect credit card or credit score, you need to have at least 25 credit cards. Now I know that terrifies people when I say that, but let me ask you this question. How many of you have actually received one of those little postcards in the mail that says, hey, we'd like to give you $10,000 line of credit, 0% interest for the next 18 to 24 months. And what do you do with them? 99% of our society, takes those, rips them up, and throws them away. Why? Because they're taught credit cards are bad. Are you kidding me? You get $10,000 from a credit card company at 0% interest for the next 12 to 24 months. That's free money for you to use to build your business, to buy inventory, to get great returns. You have to change the way you think. So let me give you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about that might switch your mindset. All right, so you're looking for credit cards that are gonna give you zero interest or bonus points, okay? New cards can be great for this. Most of those credit card offers that you get are either giving you 0% interest or some kind of status or bonus points up front, and they are awesome for buying inventory. And again, our goal is to get a 10% return on our inventory that we turn every 30 to 60 days. So if we're getting a 10% return on our inventory and we turn it every 60 days, that's six times a year times a 10% return, that's a 60% return on your investment. Okay, do you understand what I'm trying to show you here? Uh, investing in your business is another great resource for these credit cards. So let me give you a couple of examples of different credit cards. Here's one right here, it's a Chase Sapphire card. Now, this particular card right here, you've probably received offers in the mail. You've probably received offers in your, uh, in your emails or on Facebook or Instagram, right? And what they're offering is 50,000 bonus miles if you spend $4,000 in three months. Now, let me ask you, do you think you could buy $4,000 in inventory in the next three months? Absolutely. 
and I can show you how to find the products that people buy each and every day, name brand products, and I can show you how to get authorization to sell those products. $4,000 in three months, not a problem in inventory. Now, here's the example. When you spend $4,000 in inventory, okay, you're probably gonna get charged a, a fee to use the credit card by your supplier. And it's usually about two and a half percent. So if you spend four grand on inventory, they'll probably charge you about a hundred dollars or two and a half percent to use that credit card. So our total expenditure on the inventory is forty one hundred dollars. OK, so we buy our, our, our products. Amazon sends them to uh, or I'm sorry, our suppliers send them to Amazon sitting on their shelves. We've spent forty one hundred dollars. Now, take a look at this. When you spend $4,100, they're going to give you 50,000 bonus miles or what equates to about $625 in travel value. Okay, so, so you just spent $4,100, but you got $625 in bonus travel or value. Okay, now if you divide the value that you just got by the money that you just spent, it turns out that you've already gotten a 15% return on that investment and you know what you haven't even sold a single thing of your inventory yet so when you understand how credit cards work the right way and the values that they get and you get the right credit cards you can be making a return on your investment before you've even sold anything there's tons of cards that are just like this and what you need to start do is start to make yourself aware of what credit cards have the bonuses, have the miles, have the status, all the stuff that goes with it, and change your mindset. Okay, change your mindset that credit cards are neither good nor bad, it's what you use them for. So how much leverage should you have? You should have as much as you can. Because if you don't have the leverage, then you miss out on opportunities. Okay, the owner of Alibaba, had an opportunity a few years ago to buy into Amazon, where it would have given him a one third stake in Amazon, but he had to pass, why? Because he didn't have the available funds. That would have been worth billions of dollars to him today, but because he wasn't prepared or having access to it, he missed on the opportunity. So what I want you to do is prepare yourself for opportunity. Now. Change your vernacular as well. These are not credit cards. I want you to start calling them investor cards because that's what we're gonna use them for. I want you to get as many credit cards so you can get as much leverage as you possibly can, but that doesn't mean you run down to the store and buy garbage. These are business cards that are used for your business as leverage to buy inventory. You have to change the way you think. You have to start thinking like the 1% of wealthy in our country. Here's another great one, Capital One, Venture One. You've all seen this one before, advertised on TV. You probably get postcards, emails, all that stuff. So on this one, they offer 0% on new purchases for the next 12 months. So in other words, you can buy anything you want on this card in terms of inventory, and, and it's 0% interest for a whole 12 months. And they give you 20,000 bonus miles when you spend $1,000 in three months. Now, can we find some inventory that we can get a 10 or 20% return on? Okay, about $1,000 worth of that inventory? Absolutely, absolutely, and it's 0% interest, plus 20,000 bonus miles. All right, so here's the example I wanna give you on this one. You go out and you get a new Venture One Capital One credit card, 0% interest, next 12 months, you find a name brand product that you can buy from an authorized supplier, you buy $1,000 worth of that, now again, remember, most suppliers are gonna charge you a fee to use a credit card. And I've got a solution to that here too. Uh, $25, so 2.5%, you spend 1,000, that's a $25 fee to use the credit card. So you've now spent $1,025 with this new credit card. Well, by doing so, you're gonna get $200 worth of bonus travel that you can use for your business. Now think about that, okay? $200 in value, you've spent $1,025, you divide the one by the other, you've already gotten a 19.5% ROI before you've sold any of your inventory. See, credit cards are neither good nor bad, it's how you use them. 
Okay, people like to tell you, cut up your credit cards, throw your credit cards away. That's insane. That's a consumer mentality. You have to have a business owner mentality. Debt is leverage. Debt is what allows you to grow your business faster. But we have to understand the math. And that's what Algo is all about, teaching our students how the math works. Two plus two is four. And then we take action. And that's what I want to teach you. Okay, I'll go online is an amazing company that shows their students how to build successful Amazon businesses. Now, here's one last thing I want you to write down in your notes. It's called Plasti. Now, this is a company because some suppliers you're going to learn uh, don't accept credit cards. Okay, now if they've got great products and they've got great opportunity, you want to do business with them. And if all you have is a credit card, this is a solution. Plasti will take your credit card for the amount and then send the supplier a wire transfer or a check, whichever way they prefer to do it. So we can still use these credit cards. We can still build all these bonuses. We can still create all this leverage. And even if our supplier won't take it, we have a solution here that allows us to use those cards to our advantage. Credit cards are neither good nor bad. It's how you use them. And we want to teach you how to use them the proper way to leverage and create an amazing Amazon business. Algo is not just about teaching you how to sell products. It's about showing you how to start, source, sell, and scale your business and take maximum advantage of the Amazon opportunity. Now, I will be hosting a free online webinar where I'm going to go into great depth on what our business model is and how you can get involved and how you can get access to all of our resources and all of our tools. I don't do them very often. And when I do do them, they fill up very, very quickly. So I'm gonna recommend that you click the button below and you get yourself registered for our webinar this week. 60 to 90 minutes is all it's gonna take. It is 100% free to attend, costs you nothing at all. However, if you miss it, it could cost you the opportunity of a lifetime. Now, I am Bob Schneck. I love my Amazon business. I love Algo, and I can't wait to have the opportunity to show you how to build and scale your Amazon business. We'll see you soon.